sandals on the way I'm sliding up I won't join no gang cause I speak truth and I ain't slime enough I can't kill my brothers, we the same, it's just not adding up Esau he a killer, Gino side he keeps attracting us Most I say be fruitful, multiply so we be adding up Compare his seed to the sand of the sea, we deep so you can't add us up My people they got hair inside they heart, they wanna paint us up Grew up in the red zone, blood tears, I see red flags on us This world be killing me, with lies the way they capping on me Like these publicans, they coons and seeing the way they taxing on me Prove what you say, the evidence, show me the facts, little homie Don't hold your tongue, just bring it out, what's on your mind, little brody? Riding on 4 Giados, bougie, how we sit, Moscato huh. Feast days of the Lord, champagne be rainy, poncho huh. Salvation of the Lord's people, come on, we need that pronto huh. Wisdom, yes, it bring riches, like we just won the lotto Keep huh. these commandments in the faith, my brother, that's the motto huh. Most how humble you quick, boy, if you think you macho It's real, we poor, but we rich in spirit the last days, right. right, read that one more time hey, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 35 and verse 3 Right to depart from wickedness right. is a thing pleasing to the Lord. Right, so pleasing thing, man. Keep reading. And to forsake unrighteousness right. is a propitiation. Right. It's so awful you forsake unrighteousness. You forsake smoking weed and talking to those women you see. What's going on? Got a man for the Bible? A lot of your heritage? What's your so-called father? So-called father's race. Y'all got time for God? Y'all got one minute for God? You see him on, you see him on the side? Right on, on your right hand side. Yeah. Okay, which one is it? Judah. Judah, okay. Okay, that's the top tribe, brother. You know, Christ came from that tribe. Did you know that? Oh, let's read uh, Hebrews 7 and 14, Revelations 1 and verse 13. Well, we're going to show you what Jesus look like, first and foremost, right? Because Jesus was a so called Jew. Did you know that? Jesus was a Jew. Let's prove, let's prove that. Let's prove that. Hebrews 7 and 14, Revelations 1. Look at Hebrews. Hey, fam. Y'all got time for God? It's okay. Book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14, and it reads, For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of Judah. Out of Judah. So we know Christ was a Jew. Okay, we go back to Judah. The three tribes that are Jews, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? The so-called American blacks, West Indians, and our Haitians, okay? Now let's see what color was Jesus Christ, right? Was he a so-called white man? Did he, did he look like a, 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 a European? No? Okay, let's prove that. Read that. Revelation 1, verse 13. Let's Read it out! Revelation chapter 1 and verse 13. Read it out! And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. So, and it's in the midst of the seven candlesticks. John is seeing this. This is not a parable. He is literally seeing a man in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Read it. One so, like, like unto the Son of Man. Talking about Christ. Clothed with a, garment. with a garment down to the foot. And girt about the patch with, with a golden girdle. He had a garment long. He had a golden belt. Right? It, his head and his hairs were white like wool. Were white like wool. When you look at these brothers out here, have you ever seen a grandfather or something like that that had woolly hair and it was great? Okay, that's what that's talking about. White woolly hair. Something like that, brothers here. Woolly. But white, white snow. As white as snow. Right? And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Brown red his eyes. You understand? Keep reading. And his feet. Like onto like fine brass. brass. What? Like onto like fine brass. brass. Yeah, fine brass. It was feet. Okay, so what is brass? Okay, you take out a penny. It's really a, a derivative. It's copper, but it's a derivative of brass, and that's a derivative of brown. You understand? Watch out, brother. Now we take anything and put it in the furnace. What colors gonna come out? Brown. Brown. It's gonna come out even darker than that. Brother. It's gonna come out almost black. All right, read that. In his feet. Like on to fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. Yeah, dark skin. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? You know, Christ is a dark skin. Yes, Let's read that again. From the top. 1 and 13. 1 and 13. It's showing the color of Jesus Christ. Christ is coming to save the people on these charts. Is y'all father on this chart somewhere? Judah? Benjamin? Y'all father so-called American black? Is he West Indian? Is y'all fathers that, that color or that so-called nationality? Okay, all right, let's read that. Read that one more time. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. The Son of Man is Christ. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. I wish my brother Ezekiel was out here. Something like that, but longer, he had that belt on. That's that golden girdle, okay? His head and his hairs were white like wool. What nation of people have woolly hair? What nation? Today. Look, look, look at him right there. That like Woolly. No, no, no. The person, person right next to me, gang. Right. Is that, is that Woolly hair? You think it's Woolly hair? That's, that's sheep hair, brother. Right. So Christ had that same type of hair you got, brother. You know that? 
I keep reading. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like onto fine brass. Fine brass. What is brass? Brown. Brown. Okay. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn in a furnace. If you take anything and put it in a furnace, what color is gonna come out, brother? It's gonna come out darker, isn't it? It's not gonna come out pale and uh and ginger. It's gonna come out darker. That's showing you the skin of Christ. Okay, so Christ was a so-called black man. That's right. In his voice as the sound of many waters. And Christ had a deep voice. He didn't have a voice like the so-called white man. Hey, Jimmy, how's the work going? He didn't have that voice. When it says, as, read that again. In his voice as the sound of many waters. Right, that's talking about deep waters. Deep, you understand? That's what it's going into. So Christ is a so-called black man. You understand? Read Hebrews 7 and 14 one more time. So Christ is a so-called black man. But he was a Jew. Okay? Let's prove that. Look at Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14, and it reads. Right. For it is evident right. that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of, what? Out of Judah. Right. Out of Judah. Now what is that? That's a tribe. Keep reading. Because really of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So Christ was a black, so-called black Jew. You understand that? So if Christ was black and he was a Jew, who were the Jews today? Mm. What they look like? Where they from? You know? Is the people over there in Israel the real Jews? Do they have woolly hair? That dark skin, red eye, oh, they got the, the, the white pale skin with straight hair. They don't wear their beards at. Right, uh, uh they, they don't wear fringes. When you, when you see the so-called Jewish man wear this? They don't wear this, they have no, look, look at it, look. Is that white woolly hair? The brown reddish eyes, the dark skin. He should shake his head, man. He don't look like Christ, man. Oh, where you going, brother? What's going on? I'm trying to sow the word in your heart, brother. Okay, so what's your nationality? What's your nationality? You heard me. Okay, what I say? What did I say? Okay, all right. So, what, what you think we saying out here? We said Christ is black, and he is Jew, and we teach y'all y'all your nationality. What, what you think we trying to say? You don't know? Okay, what we trying to teach you? Give me a please ask these twelve and thirteen. Let's get there first and foremost. He trying to get Israel to repent and keep the commandments. The Israelites, give me Deuteronomy seven and six. The Israelites is God's chosen people, okay? And they need to keep the commandments to get out of sin. That's right. When they sin, that's when the curses fell upon them, and that's prophesied in Deuteronomy twenty eight and fifteen. Okay? When they sin, they cause the curses to come upon them, like not knowing your nationality, uh, being cursed in the city, cursed in the field, uh, not having to worry uh, to lay your head at, somebody's going to sleep with your woman, you're going to build a house and not dwell therein. All that is happening because the Israelites sin. So what we're trying to do is to help the so-called black, Hispanic, and Latino, Native American community is tell them to repent and keep the commandments so we can get out of America and out of captivity. That's, what we, that's the whole thing we're saying. Okay, we're not trying to teach the so-called white woman. Right? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm trying to teach you. You are God's chosen people. It's like, you are the ones that need to keep the commandments of God. Okay, let's read that. Prove that. It's the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. That's the conclusion of what we're trying to tell you. Fear God. What? Fear God. What? Fear God. Now, fear God doesn't mean, you know, to a degree, but it doesn't mean when you see God, you should run away. They're saying reverence him, respect him, honor him like you honor your father and mother, right? And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For this is the whole duty of man. All right, what's your purpose on the earth? What you think it is? Are you looking for it? Okay, so in the Bible, because I used to be like, I used to be like, what's my purpose? God, something some was my purpose. I don't want to be young and just out and living. And something was my purpose. The Bible tells us what our purpose is. It's to keep the commandments of God. Okay, you see a lot of murder that's happening in Detroit? You want to, what's the way we can stop that? Or 16. What's the way we can stop that? How, how are we gonna stop it? We, 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 we took away the guns. We took away the so-called niggas out the native out of uh, out of the uh, neighborhood. We tried uh, putting white people in there, more cops. We tried all that, but it's nothing that's really solving that black on black crime. Okay. So the Bible tells us how to solve that black on black crime. Yes. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Listen up, sisters. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So what? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Now, do you think 
if we would listen to this commandment, a lot of murder would stop happening. If I, if I love this brother, as I love myself, and I love him with all my heart, would I kill him? Would I have sex with his wife? Would I, would I rob him? Would I take his land? Would I call him a byword? You know how much, you know how much easier it would be to live if I love this brother with all my heart? Okay, so this is showing you how to stop the black on black crime. We did it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Now, question, do bloods hate Crips? Are they keeping that commandment? Do you think if they kept this commandment, that would stop the war of blood and Crips? East side, west side, seven miles, six miles, right? That would stop all that, bro. So we telling you how to heal the people is to keep the commandments of God, man. Is this a hard commandment? To love your brother? Ezekiel Fisher? Ah! Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Now question. If I saw this brother, or let's say I saw another brother getting ready to rob somebody, right? He said, I'm finna go rob this. I'm finna go take this guy's stuff. Okay? And I told him, well, hold on, brother. Why would you do that? That's, that's your brother, man. That's North the Kingdom, man. That's Judah, man. That's, why would you do that? Do you think that would help the murder again in our community? If I was to rebuke him at any time he's going to do something wicked, that would help. Okay, so what we're saying is to keep the commandments, we need to keep the commandments to solve this problem of sin and oppression on our people. And not suffer sin upon him. Right, and we shouldn't suffer sin upon him. I can't be smoking a blunt. Gotta say, Shema, hey man, I got this gelato, man. Moon, I got this moon rock, man. You know. Got, got the, you know, kind of had Dino go get the woods. That's off as hell, man. If we was to stop doing that, people wouldn't be shot over weed. People wouldn't be shot over money. But oh, he's taxing me, you know. That none of that would be happening if we was to listen to the commandments. Right? That's right. Okay, now it's more commandments than that. You understand? How many people you see wearing this? Wearing this. Give me number fifteen. How many people you see wearing this? Okay. Now give me Second Maccabees seven to verse thirty-two, real quick. All right. So let me show you something. What you think sin is according to the Bible? Okay, right. so we're gonna show you first thing first, we're gonna show you we suffer because of our sins. Let's prove that. Book of Second Maccabees, chapter 7, verse 32. Right. And it reads, For we suffer because of our sins. We what? For we suffer because of our sins. Our children dying? For we suffer. Because we're sinning against the Lord God. Verse four. So we're sinning, okay? Well, what is sin? Because you got pastors say it's just missing the mark. I, I, it's not. It's not hitting the target. What does that mean? That's not a definite thing we can prove and show. So let's prove that we're not the Christian pastors. Book of First John, chapter three, verse four, and it reads: right. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Right. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. We see the primarily the most amount of the laws written in the first five books. Okay, so let's read something in the first five books. Numbers fifteen thirty-eight. It's the book of Numbers, chapter fifteen and verse thirty-seven. Bring it out. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. Now, quick question: uh, Is your father on that sign of Judah? Okay, so that, no, that would make them an Israelite, correct? Okay, so this is talking to you. It's talking to us, not them. Right? Speak to them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Right, so we got to make fringes in the borders of our garment. Right? These so called uh, uh, tassels or locks and things like that. So he kind of got the, okay, he got the fresh ones in there. But what, Zeke? Kind of like Zeke. He, he got the different kind over there too. Okay? We're supposed to make fringes in the borders of our garment. Right? It reads throughout their generations. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So we can have the fringes any color, but the ribbon got to be blue. You understand? Because blue is a royal color. Before it was purple, it was blue. You understand? So that's keeping the commandments of God. Is, that, is this hard to wear this? Be honest. First time, five, real quick. You said it's hard. Is it hard to really just throw in this shirt? Or to pay somebody, have somebody kind of sew this on? Is it hard to wear this? Brothers, is it hard to wear fringes? Is it hard to stop being poor? Is it hard to keep the Sabbath day? It's not hard, man. It's not really hard to just sit back and relax on the Sabbath day. Okay, read that. First John 5. Go to First John chapter 5, verse 3, and read. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. Now, real quick, do you love God? I do. Are you sure? 
you know, it's, it, you know, people say it all the time, man. And even say that in the book of Ezekiel, they draw to me with the uh, uh, with the lips, with the heart is far away. You understand? So if you love God, you gotta keep the commandments. All right, you gotta keep the commandments. Huh? Where's that fire? Fire? Flyers for the sheep. They walking right past y'all. Right there. Okay. Back there. God, give me a give me the book from Zephaniah one eighteen. It's like ten minutes. So God, man, give me uh Proverbs. Give me Psalms. Give me Psalms thirty two and verse five. One two inches. Look at these so-called so -called nations, man. You, 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 you nations, man. We're dressing. And look, look, they all got dresses on, man. See that? When the last time y'all wore pants? Uh, like this morning. Oh, <laughs> see that? See that? Nations, can, give me a, uh, give me a second. Uh, Ezra's three in the last verse. Con, 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 read, bro. Look at Zephaniah, chapter one, verse 18, and it reads, neither silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire, by the fire of his jealousy. So this whole land is going to be devoured by fire, man. Thermonuclear fire, ICBM missiles, man. Nukes. Yeah, all these different type of weapons that China, they got cryo bombs, man. They got uh, 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 lightning freezing bombs, man. They got a lot of different things out here, man. America's going to be destroyed. Did y'all know that? Y'all that know that's written in the Bible? It's biblical prophecy? Did y'all know that? This is Babylon. Right? This is the wicked place of the earth. Right? And they're going to be dashed into the stones, man. Is it more than that? Yes. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. What? Of all them that dwell in the land. No, you got the nations that dwell in the land. Do y'all dwell in the land of America? Yes or no? Do y'all live here? Okay, all right, we'll, we'll read that one. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. You know God is going to destroy America and make a speedy riddance of the so-called white man for the atrocities that he's done to the children of Jacob. Did you know that? That's, that's prophesied. Can I, can, I, can I show you that? Okay, all right, let's go to Obadiah, man. This is my favorite book. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm dying one in verse nine, man. It's like starting at eight, man. It's my favorite book, man. We're gonna teach you something, man. Everybody got a minute for the Bible? Everybody got a minute for the Bible? All right, yeah, let's read up. Now, this is biblical prophecy on the Edomites. That's where you come from. Is your father so-called white man, Caucasian, or? Is Greek? Wow! Wow, see that? Wow! Let me, give me Joel 3, and verse five. Did you know that the Greeks sold the so-called, uh, uh, so-called Israelites, the Jews, to the so-called um, uh, Europeans? Did you know that? It's prophesied in the Bible. I got that word say uh, Grecians. Three and verse five. Start at uh start at four. <laughs> Book of Joel, chapter three, verse four, and it reads, Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? So Tyree and Zidon are Hamite Africans, okay? The, the Hamites, the, uh, the, 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 the the blood drinkers, okay? And all the coast of Palestine. Will ye render me a recompense? If and if ye recompense me swiftly. And speedily will I return your recompense upon your head. So God said, whatever you do, I'm going to return that recompense unto you, right? Keep reading. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold. Well, where are you going? You want to hear your judgment? Going on, bro? Oh, see, you don't want to hear the words of God. You Greeks. You Greeks just want to make everybody one people, but don't want to hear the words of God. How are we going to be one people if God say, you know, you keep the commandments and you, you can't come to the temple? I, that's confusing, man. How are we going to be one people if God said you're above all and he said you are a spit? That's how, it's no way we can become one people, man. I got it. Kai, what you got? Yeah, Kai, read it. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 8. Right Shall I not in that day say of the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom? And understanding out of the Mount of Esau. So he's just trying to understand out of the Mount of Esau. Did you know the Bible is prophesying, brother, that the white man is going to lose his knowledge in the last days? You know that? That the government is going to fall, brother? No, there's no, brother. You see yourself on the side, brother? This side down there, brother. Is your father is so called American black? Yeah, you see your father on the right hand side, so called American black? He is? Okay. Okay, well, you know, do you think your nationality is African American? No, no, uh, Moorish American. But you, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, now, hold on, now. Hold on, come here, hold on, let's talk, though. What is, what does the word more mean? What does the word more mean? 
War. Yes, what does the word more mean? Somebody give me the etymology of the word more. More is, is a short abbreviation for more than so that, That's not a definition of the word. I'm saying what, what's the what's the definition of the word more? Can I show can I show you that? Can I show can I show you? Let's get the etymology of the word more. Bring that out. Oh, you got it? Me, uh, I'm open to everything. Right. Even though I have right. my own belief, I'm still open to it. Right. Start, read that real quick. I'm going to read it, little brother, from, from North Africa. There you go. Start here and then go here. All right. More. The noun. North African. Berber. Are you a Berber? Okay, whoa. Well, that's, that's the definition of the word more, brother. Berber. Yeah, Berber. Somebody give me, uh, give me uh, the, the word Berber. All right, what's, what's that? B-E-B-E-R. All right, now go down to the Greek word Maros. From Greek, Maros, perhaps a native name or else cognate with Moros. Right? Black. What? Black. What does more mean? Black. black. More means black, brother. Uh, uh, black going inside. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hold on, what you just said, bro? I'm saying black. It means dark. All right, give me, I gotta get the definition of everything. Give me the, uh, yeah, give me, you got Berber. Let's get to get the word. No, I don't need Berber. I need uh, the definition of the word black. But black, it's not, brother. So you calling yourself a Berber, brother. You calling yourself a, a black Berber. A black Berber that's in America. You understand? Berber says that they, uh, have, they come from a Hermetic language. Hey, read it, read it. <laughs> so the definition of Berber says from the Arabic name for the peoples living in the mountains and deserts of North Africa, west of Egypt. Perfect. Are you from North Africa and west of Egypt? No, I'm from here. Okay, so how you, how, well, hold on, how are you on board, brother? By, by, by tracing your roots. Well, what were roots, brother? What roots did you trace? What roots did I trace? Yeah. Uh, through Spain. Dude, hold on, so which one of your forefathers go back to Spain, brother? Uh, no, no, they don't. No, they don't, well, brother. See, they wouldn't always see what, brother? The brothers and sisters is in Morocco, Spain, there, right? Right. They wouldn't always go like you. They was dark like me. Okay, so what I'm what I'm saying is though, King, if you're not from this land and you can't really show that you get back to that land, I got that, King. You can't get that you go back to that land. How are you a, a, a black Berber? Gimme, what's the what's the language of the, uh, of the Moors? What's the language of the Moors? What do they speak? Okay, but I'm saying, what, what's the regular language, brother? Nah, but what's the regular language? What you get? You're not saying the type of language, brother. Is it Hebrew? Is it Greek? Is it things of that sort? Well, I'm gonna let this brother teach you. All right, give me this last couple. Give me our last two precepts. Give me uh, uh, Ezra five and eleven. Give me the book of First Maccabees at the nine to verse ten. So he gonna go into it, showing how more is not a nationality, brother. You don't see more on this side. Brother. No. So, so Moors are not the Israelites, huh? No, more. Like so, you know, the Bible said they gotta go to slavery. The people who put the Israelites into slavery, right? Yeah, uh, Ezra five and eleven. Look at Ezra chapter five, verse eleven, and it reads, and thus they returned us answer, saying. We are the servants of the Most High God of heaven. We are the servants of the Most High God of heaven and earth. And build the house that was built in these many years ago. So we're supposed to build the temple back up. We're trying to teach this brother that he's an Israelite and not a black Berber from north a uh, part of Africa, man. It's the book of 1 Maccabees chapter 9 and verse 10. Then Judas said, God forbid that I should do this thing and flee away from them. If our time become let us die manfully. Let us what? Let, Let us die, die manfully. What we gotta do? Let, Let us die, die manfully. Take Let us die, die manfully. manfully. For our brethren. Right. And let us not stain our honor. And let us what? And let us not stain our honor. So we're not gonna stain our honor. And with that, kumya salam. Kumya salam. Kumya salam.